Today, we'll be taking a look at the Career Foundry's Data Analytics Program. This is a job guaranteed program for people who want to transition into data analytics. You get a job within six months of graduating or you get your tuition fee back. Now, as most of you know, I love self-studying and I'm all for using free content to learn. But I think this program has a pretty attractive offer that may tremendously help some of you in getting into data analytics career as quickly as possible. And that's the reason why I decided to make this review when Career Foundry approached me for this. This video is sponsored by Career Foundry, which is very kind of them, but I got their full permission to give you an insider look into the program and give my honest review, including what I like, but also what I don't like so much about this program. Hopefully this would help you decide if this program is really something for you. And if you use the link in the description below, you get 10% off of the regular price. We're gonna be talking about the general structure of this data analytics program, the price and the job guarantee and mentor support. We then discuss the detailed curriculum and I'll walk you through the learning portal and the course content. And of course, I also share what I like and don't like so much about the program. And finally, my recommendation on who this program is most suitable for. Okay, just a quick overview what Career Foundry is about. Career Foundry is an online school to help you change your career into tech. They offer programs in data analytics, UX and UI design, web design, development, digital marketing, and more. They also offer tutoring, mentorship, and job guarantees as part of their programs, which apparently sets them apart from other online platforms that only offer online self-paced videos. And if we go to the curriculum of this data analytics program, you can see the overview of this program. There are two main parts in this program. First one is the intro to data analytics course to basically get to be familiar with the basics. And the second part, data immersion, is the main component of the program where you go more in depth into different topics and you spend the bulk of your time here. We can also take a look at the estimation of how much time the courses would take. So if we take this program part-time, then the intro course would take about a month and the immersion course would take approximately seven months. And if we do full-time, then the length would be half the time or flexible, then the time would be uh, any time in between. A nice thing is that this program is also supposed to be project-based. So it has a combination of of both theory and practices with the projects and the actual hands-on assignments. You get to work on a few portfolio projects during the program. So we'll take a look at that in more detail when we get to the detailed curriculum later in this video. When you join the program, you get to join a Slack channel to interact with the student advisors and mentors and other students in the program. So you can ask any questions or message people here. I think it's quite valuable to have a community of people who are taking the same program as you because that may help tremendously with motivation as well. Okay, the most important thing when looking at these programs is the job guarantee. I personally would not take a $7,000 program if there is no job guarantee. But if there's a job guarantee, you know that their business is at stakes if they don't deliver. And this is what we are looking for. So let's take a closer look at this. So here are the requirements that you need to meet in order to be eligible for the job guarantee. So you need to be at least 18 years of age with a high school diploma. You live in or be willing to relocate to an eligible metropolitan area. We'll see which areas these are. And you're open to both remote and on-site positions and you've completed your program and paid the full tuition fee. And you've completed the job prep course and kept in touch with your career advisor and followed the job search uh, advice. So I think this is a quite a reasonable policy. They just want to make sure that you have actually completed the program and worked on your job applications together with your career specialists and took the advice that they gave you. I think it's what you should do anyway and it's it's totally in your control. The only difficult thing that might not totally in your control is that you have to live in or be willing to relocate to an eligible area. From this map, I see that is basically the US, the UK, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. So depending on your personal circumstances and maybe your family situation, this may or may not be possible for you. Apart from the job guarantees, this data analytics program also gives you access to a mentor and a tutor. You'll be booking calls with your mentors at your convenient time so they can give you, for example, personalized feedback on your project or answer any questions that you may have and so on. To give you an idea of how the calls with mentors would look like, here's the short clip of my talk with my mentor. The more you practice, the more you put in work, the more you like ask for help, the better you're going to become. And 
there's no such thing as knowing it all, right? And I think gradually you build up your confidence. So you're not coming to Career Foundry to gain a certificate. You're coming to Career Foundry to gain a set of skills that can easily be built on, can easily be improved upon, can easily be, would I say, extrapolated into other things. I always try to encourage the students to really understand the concepts. I'm always very happy to take a call, right? Talk them through the task. I think those, I would say, responses just help you like carve the message to the students. Like, hey, I noticed you used this data set. I noticed you used this particular chart. This is the best chart for showing like trends. I would advise you to, you know, like modify the color here or try out this different hypothesis. Check out like, you know, your Z score for this, like whatever, right? You just try to encourage the students. Now let's talk quickly about the curriculum that they offer. And after that, I'll show you how the learning portal looks like and how the lessons are going to look like. So in the intro to data analytics course, we have 10 lessons, which are basically 10 tasks leading up to one main project, a descriptive analysis of a video game data set to inform product development and sales strategies. So these 10 tasks are basically a demonstration of the process that you may take when working in a data an analytics project as a data analyst. So even if you're completely new, you can use this course to basically get your hands dirty and learn the necessary basics. The second course is a data immersion course that's structured into six different achievements. The first achievement is about preparing and analyzing data. Actually, this achievement also introduces you to all the basic concepts around working with data and it also introduces some statistical analysis and concepts. The second achievement is about data visualization and storytelling with Tableau and how to present that information and do storytelling and presenting findings to stakeholders. The third achievement is about databases and SQL which is a very important skill for data analysts. So you learn all the basics of relational databases, data storage, the basics of working with SQL. The fourth achievement is about Python fundamentals, how how to work with Jupyter, how to work with pandas, how to do data wrangling, and how to do different transformation on data. And the fifth achievement is about data ethics and some more advanced topics like predictive analysis, time series, and also how to use GitHub, which I think is very useful. And from here, you'll be preparing for a data analytics portfolio, which is the main goal of the achievement six. And in this last achievement, you'll be tying everything together and also learn some more advanced topics like geographical visualizations, supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning, and how to design and create a dashboard for your project. So I think this curriculum is quite broad and comprehensive. What they're teaching you looks very much like things I would recommend you learning. Now, let me walk you through the learning portal and show you what the lessons actually look like on the portal and what exactly you are getting when you you sign up for this course. So once you've signed in the program, the learning portal looks like this. And here on the menu, I have my mentor course and the forum, which is basically the uh, forum for people to ask questions or to discuss some other some different topics. So if I go into the intro course, you can see that these are the 10 lessons. And if you click on lessons, you see that we have the learning goals, we have the introduction of lesson and the rest we have different concepts that are covered in the lesson. And if we scroll all the way down, we have the summary and we have the resources section to give you some extra materials so that you can further read and maybe explore more in depth the topics. And in this lesson, we also have a task, which is basically a small assignment for you to apply the concepts you have learned in the lesson. And once you submit your answer, your mentors will take a look at them and give you some personalized feedback based on what you have done. And we also have a focus mode feature here, which I think is pretty nice and useful if you want to avoid distraction from other browser tabs. And while you're reading through the material, you can also take notes by highlighting a certain part and write a note and share it with your mentor. It's useful if you have any remarks or questions to your mentor. And here's the data immersion course. And within this course, we have six different achievements. And within each achievement, we have like 
10 different lessons. So in achievement 3, for example, we have lessons on how to use SQL, different SQL syntax and different SQL queries for filtering, summarizing and joining tables and also subqueries with, uh, within SQL. I think the lessons are pretty high quality and quite easy to follow. And in some achievements, you also get to work on a project. For example, in the Python fundamentals for data analysts achievements, we have a project and you can download here the brief for this project and have a look at the project description and the data and the tasks that you need to accomplish. And also in the last achievement, the advanced data analytics and dashboard design, we also have a project for this achievement and they also show you how to source the data for your project and teach you a bunch of other uh, other concepts that might be helpful for your for your project. And finally, they show you how to design your dashboard, what are different types and the guidelines for designing and also maintaining the dashboards. So I think overall the materials are pretty good and it also includes a bunch of exercises and projects that you can use to practice your skills. I think both the theories and the hands-on assignments are written very carefully and in a very thoughtful way, which is one of the things that I really like about this program. I don't think that you can find a free source of material on the internet that is so thoroughly, so carefully and so nicely written, so structurally written in everything in one place like this. Also, this program is completely flexible and you can do it full time, part time or anything in between. So let's say if you have a day job or family application, this is not going to be a blocking factor for you. They also provide the mentor course and the student support and the Slack community and the access to the mentors who can give you really personalized feedback and regular calls um, to give you advice really is really worth the price, I think. And the learning portal that they have that we just looked at looks pretty solid for me. And I didn't have any difficulty navigating the lessons and the content within the courses. The only thing that I personally think is a little bit of pity is that most of the material is in written format. The text is actually very well written and very easy to read. But honestly, I tend to like more videos and more visual presentation, but they do have quite a bit of videos in between and diagrams and GIFs and pictures within them. So so I found it at least engaging enough. In a way, it's also good to have everything written down for you so that you can easily browse through the material, which you might want anyway, even if you have videos. Another thing that I think is worth mentioning is that they may not go super in depth into each and every topic, but it's deep enough and more complex uh, filtering and conditional syntax. For example, in the SQL module in achievement three, they don't just teach you, okay, just select star from table, but they do show you also the different syntax, different queries, subqueries, but definitely you won't find in this program the more advanced statistical concepts like eigen vectors and eigen values or some advanced machine learning concepts, for example. Now, let's take a look at the price of this program. If you pay upfront for the whole program, then it will cost around 6,500 euros, which is equivalent to 7,000 US dollars. Or you can pay monthly for 12 months, which is in total about $500 extra. It's also possible possible to talk to the program advisor to set up a more flexible payment plan that works best for you. And if you use the link in the description below, you get 10% off of this regular price. So that would be around 6,300 US dollars or 6,000 euros in total. Now, right off the bat, $7,000 or even $6,300 is kind of a lot of money. When I was starting out, I didn't have $7,000 to spend. At some lowest point in my life, I had like 10 euros in my bank account. But this is actually on the lower end of most boot camps or online school programs with mentor support. Also, if you think about it, if you get a job after this program, which you're guaranteed to, or you receive 100% money back, then you can pay this amount off easily within your first few months of salaries. And for those of you who currently have a job already and want to further develop your data analytics skills so that you can apply them into your current job, I'd highly recommend you to discuss this with your manager and make a case to get the tuition fee funded by your company. Even partially funded is already very, very good. I myself have successfully done this myself for many short courses on Coursera and also my whole second bachelor degree in computer science. So I know this is possible 
if you give it a try. So overall, the price is not cheap and there are many other factors to consider before you decide to sign up, but I think there are ways to make the cost not a blocking factor for yourself, either by paying it in installments or getting it funded by your company or someone else. And in long term, what you learned is the skills, the confidence and the network, and they will pay off. To be honest with you, I haven't done any data analytics programs like this before, partly because they didn't exist seven years ago, but I have taken a few other courses that I thought were really expensive at the time. And I would spend days and weeks thinking about whether I should take them, even though they have a good money back policy. I'm happy I decided to go for it anyway. And now looking back, I think it's such a no brainer because they opened up my eyes and what I gained was so much, much more than the price I paid at the time. So I'd encourage you to look at the price, but also think long term when it comes to investing in your own education and career development. Okay, when it comes to who I would highly recommend this program to, I think I'd highly recommend it to people who really want to have a clearly defined program with clear structure and timeline to work towards and have people who can give you really personalized and timely feedback on your effort and your project. I'd also recommend this program to people who don't want to waste your time sifting through a sea of free content on the internet and building your own curriculum. This is one of the best programs in my opinion in terms of quality and mentorship support and in relation to the price. But really it might not be for everyone and you really want to think about what you actually need to move forward in your career rather than just listen to someone to tell you to take this course or not. So I'd encourage you to take the free data analytics short course to have an idea of what the teaching looks like and whether you like it or not. And just feel free to book a free consultation with them to get more advice. So I hope this review is helpful for those who need this information and feel free to check out the link in the description below to get the 10% off if you sign up for the program. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.